What's going on, everybody? Magnificent or marvelous Monday, however you want to say. Should be pretty much close to everybody's end of the day whenever this posts out. And I know we got four more days to work this week, so we got to pound through to get to that weekend. But I want to keep with the, uh, I guess you could say, small series I was showing about, you know, the fake slabs out there to people nonchalantly saying you could purchase how I make my labels and I could teach you some stuff. You know, um, I thought it was in a blowout forum where somebody uh, showed the history of the slabs. Well, somebody actually did go, went ahead and emailed this link to a website. It's going to be in the description. It'll probably be like the second or third sentence, so you'll probably like the header and then, uh, you know, this with a link and stuff like that. So, I would suggest to save it to your bookmarks or favorites on your phone, along with your computer at home. Just in case you're never sure, this gives a lot of good pictures. You can really look into stuff to make sure it's going to be what you, you know, it's authentic, PSA. So let's pull this up here. Boom. All right, the history of the PSA flips and how to detect fakes. This is a really, really well written article. Um, if you got about 20 to 30 minutes to read through it and actually look at the pictures, I would suggest to do it because this is a great reference guide. And I definitely wanted to share this with everybody once I got a hold of it because this is going to really, really help out a lot. Because I know there's always people trying to figure out is it real, is it fake, and stuff like that here. And it's going to show you. Right here, you got your table contents. You got all your different years and stuff. Uh, Ten different, they call it flips or slabs, went on since they started. You'll see the OG only lasts for about a little over a year. And then the next one went to about 99, I want to say. And then you will start going in through all the 2000s to current. Because I'm pretty sure mine that I had were either flip three or fours. I can't remember offhand. That I actually had mine traded out into new labels of the show. Alrighty here. <laughs> Look at that famous Gret uh, Gretzky uh, Wagner certification 000001. Craziness. But uh, I don't know what the dog's doing under here. You better lay down, buddy. Let me scroll down here. Oh, this is the flip one. I'm sorry. So this was the original right here. That's how it looked, big barcode, the spacing, the font. You know, probably very, very easily to uh, copy, we'll say. Now the back, of course, you can see it has the PSA logo there and stuff like that. They moved in, they went to that smaller font, and then they went to the smaller barcode as well, too. And instead they put the stamp here on the back PSA, or the... the uh, Oh, what do you call it? The oh, the stamp. The stamps on the case. That's what it was. So we we'll keep going down. You got a new hologram on the floor of the flip, and I think this is where they went to collector's universe. Font change and barcode line to the left, and all that stuff. You can see this starts looking like the older, like the OG font in a way. Yeah, this was early 2000s. I'm pretty sure this is the one I had, the Flip 4. Um, then you had the fonts change again. And then they changed the rear label, which here you can see no hologram on the back. So it really starts throwing people because all the different, you know, slabs and stuff. Front label unchanged, rear label is changed. Grade number moved next to the line, so now you can see... Everything's, you know, lined up right compared to previous years. New hologram on the front. That's the little holograms they did originally. And backflip lettering is a new hologram, huh? Always oh, got different stuff. This one here is going to be probably one of the most common ones that you'll see for uh, uh, your, like, 2010-ish cards, I do recall. And then you got where they started doing this here. New Lighthouse Flip introduced. 
I really like this. I know they're going to be making changes again because they it's, this was in 2017. Um, they asked a bunch of people who had the memberships, like this huge questionnaire and a lot of different things that we wanted on it, like the serial numbers and stuff like that. So I have no idea how that's going to change. But supposedly they're supposed to be taking a lot of this into consideration with the new ownership uh, with Collector's Universe and everything, and we're really going to see what happens. There you go, serial number, bar co or the little uh, Q, whatever they call it, Q code thing in the back. Then you got stuff down here talking about detecting tampered PSA holders and flips, talks about the frosting. And that's when you hear the word frosting, what it means. Now, Grant, you will see not a whole lot, but sometimes in the slabs a little bit of frosting. So don't always think because it has like, you know, a quarter inch and a little bit of frosting or something onto it. It's been tampered with. And so you can see here's a cracked PSA slab where you can significantly or see significant frosting on the left hand side. Yep, doubled up labels, I remember that. And here's the fake slabs they were using to put the PSA uh, label into it. And this is what I was talking about they went back to. And that's pretty much it. And you'll see there's all kind of comments on here and stuff. But, you know, this is really good to have. Like I said, saved on your phone along with your desktop, laptop, whatever you have. Because when you're going out to purchase cards, do you start second-guessing something? Take a look at this, because the one thing I want to show you guys is... You can see the little pinholes here, okay? There's one here, here, and I think there was supposed to be some down here. But I want to find the older ones that had a little bit more. Okay, see this one here, the OGs, you see all those little dots? If you look at the ones that are fakes, they're a lot bigger in circle. So that's another key thing to look at. But I wanted to share this with everybody because it got shared to me. I just couldn't find it. And I'm really thankful somebody out there had it and sent it by email. So we all have this now to use as a tool out there. And like I said, if you got about 20 or 30 minutes, it's a great read to sit there and look at and, uh, you know, compare stuff to. So that way you kind of have the general knowledge of it through the years, especially if you weren't grading during that whole time frame where you don't remember the different holograms and font styles and everything else that goes on onto it. So, again, that'll be linked in the description below. As always, everybody, thank you for the support to the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit it. We're making our way up to 4,000, and it's going to be a top couple people. I haven't really decided yet. Uh, giveaway. And it might be cards, but there's going to be a little bit of wax involved, too. I'm going to pick up on the side here so we can start getting that ready. Um, other than that, everybody, have a good week out there. I'm going to come up with a couple different types of videos this week. Uh, right now, so right now, knock on wood, I haven't had a whole lot of like scam type deals that I want to really hit about uh, right offhand, and it's just due to because it's covering the same thing. Th there's going to be one I want to show you guys where a guy admits that he receives something in the mail, and uh, basically it's the refund from eBay. Craziness out there, craziness I say. But all right, everybody, take care. Have a good week. I'll catch y'all in the next video.